Hello, guys. Yeah. Hi, Denzel. So, I've brought you here today. Something has been made apparent to me that there has been a disagreement. And I believe, you know, this disagreement has been blown out of proportion. You see, like being part of a group, like being part of a, you know, a gang, can sometimes have its ups and downs. It can have its disagreements, you know, regardless of whether you're in a leadership position or not. Sometimes you're going to feel some kind of way about certain things. But that doesn't mean everything needs to go from zero to a hundred. The leadership is a strange thing. You know, there's the people... It's very, it's very hard to be a leader. I mean, a bit of history. I mean, I used to be second in command of a gang in this city. And people didn't respect me, you know. Some people didn't think I should have been there, you know, within the gang. But I did it, you know. People, you know, doubted, they hated, they did whatever. They said whatever they wanted to say. It didn't phase me because at the end of the day, I was in that position for a reason. And at the end of the day, I, w I was put in that position because I could take the criticism, I could take the heat, I could handle it, you know what I mean? That kind of thing. It was just what it was. And then, you know me today, I'm in the mandem. I'm pretty much like, you know, bottom ranking in the mandem. I think what what I'm trying to say is regardless of what you've done, who you are. Being a leader or, you know, seeing somebody as a leader doesn't have to come from, you know, just having a title. And what I'm trying to say is, you know, regardless of who's a leader or who's not, it doesn't mean you have to treat anybody any differently. You know, you might not agree with Chucky being a leader. Okay, but that doesn't mean, you know, you should be treated any differently from anybody else. You might not, you know, Chucky might not agree with the way that, you know, you speak to him. But at the end of the day, that's something as a family that you have to kind of overcome and talk about. Escalating it to... You know, the point of where people want to leave, you know, getting kicked out and stuff via text message. Is. Yeah. Not something that should really be ever happening. In my honest opinion. I'll speak on the whole fact that, yeah, shit probably did get taken out of context on both of our sides. But the whole respect thing has, has never really altered. Like, Ardrick, he can, I'm not speaking for you, but but it feels like, I, like, maybe I am, I guess. You've never wanted me to be the leader. You know what I mean? And you've made that clear twice now in a month span. You know? And to me, that, like, again, I feel like we have five six alphas in our group you know any one of us at any given day can can be that leader i've never had issues with max jay jai lex a adam andy nobody i've never had issues bro i'm always able to talk shit out always you know what i mean i'm fucking 40 years old i have no problem talking out my problems but it just feels like you 
don't respect me. Like, at all. I mean, can you say that you haven't argued? I mean, you've argued with multiple people, bro. And yeah, we've always hugged it out at the end, you know, and I've always probably been the mediator. I'm the one that tries to pull us together and, you know, let's talk this shit out. Let's get it done with so we can move forward. But when me and you clash, like, my only response was, let me take your keys. Like, you know, like, it's not kicking you out of the family. It's taking your fucking keys. You you, you say that people don't, you know, like, you, you told me that someone took your car out and never repaired it or put gas in it or like whatever the case is. I don't know who the fuck does what. I don't touch your car. I have my own. It's not a big deal to me, but I took your keys as a, okay, you don't respect me. Then what are we doing here? You know, so you say you want to, you know, you're an adult, you're a 40 year old man who wants to talk things out. So you accept my keys without even talking to me. Yeah, man. Yeah, but makes sense. You don't understand that calling to check me. Like, why didn't you like, I don't know. I was bro. checking we, up on you to see if you was okay because since whenever, okay, I was, I'll let you speak. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I checked up on you because since whenever do you use that punctuation bullshit in your sentences? People only do that when they're pissed off. And you know that for a fact, bro. You've never done it before. You're okay, full stop. I'm like, what? Like, why, is, what why is man being weird? So I call you to check up on you. I ask you, bro, are you good? I felt like it was a bit sharky and shady. You start calling me brain dead, big man, and tap my keys. Of course, man's going to be pissed. The first instance, bro, when, you know, someone else is going to be put at the head of the food chain, big man. You was out gold panning for six, seven hours a day, not doing shit with no one. There was a reason. We cleared that up. Don't even bring that up, bro. That That's done, gone. No, the past isn't gone, bro. The past is never gone. It's always there. So you're a pathological liar is what you're saying. Because no, you no. said, we're square, we're done. Yeah, I get we are it. done. I, I, I forgave, bro. I did forgive, but I, oh, clearly I I'm you not didn't because you're bringing it back up again, then, big man. And clearly you didn't forget. Like you, you oh, I'm not gonna join. I'm not gonna join back unless Chucky's not the leader. Like that's twice. Oh, you're now. not fit free, bro. You, 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 okay, you're too immature, so then, big man. There we go. That's that's your opinion. I've never argued with no one else. You've argued with multiple people in the family. Like let's go there, bro. Just like everyone else has argued with each other in the oh. family, breath. You and Joy for one at each other's fucking throats, Joy. Bro, don't even start. Bro. No, no, I pulled away from Joy because I got fucking pitted by you. And I thought he was driving, so I, I drove away from him. But once he ex he texted me, oh, it wasn't me driving, bro. And then we had a talk. Like, let's not go there, bro. Like, when I texted People you, argue, mate. It happens. bro, I'm busy. Like, like that's how you reply to me, bro, I'm busy. Like, nothing else. You're Like, it's just short and sweet with you. Everything's fucking the way you want it, not the way anyone else wants it. I don't like fucking doing okay. back and forth, dude. I know. Yep. Sure, right, mate. here. He's an adult 40-year-old man who wants to talk things out, by the way.